Hello and welcome to a, another morning installment of Breakfast with Unity. Um, how are you gentlemen this morning? So, so this episode is called uh, Script Organization. And what I'm going to be showing is some, some attributes that you can add to scripts that um, help you organize how the menus are set up to actually add your scripts and stuff. So right now, if I was to say um, add a component here, we get this menu, it has like different layouts here, and it actually matches the, the layout of the component menu here. And we can just type in the name of our script, like random top texture offset, and it shows up here. Um, you can actually change where these scripts actually show up, and you can even change the name of them. I don't recommend doing the latter, but you can. Um, so what is, so like right now, if I go down to scripts, you'll see all the scripts that we've added in this project are here. And, um, and that's great. That means that all the custom scripts can be found in scripts, um, which uh, that won't help you too much in a really complicated project. It's, uh, it's just one piece of organization here. Um, you can actually change where this goes. So let's look at random texture offset, for an example. Um, we can go add component menu. And then if you give it a string along the lines of... Uh, Let's see, what, what should we call this? Let's call this uh, uh, texture effects slash um, random texture offset. So if we do this, I'm just gonna hit save. You don't want a semicolon after these, these are attributes. Um, and then we hit play just to have that pick up. If you go to the component menu now, at the bottom here is this thing called texture effects, and inside of it is random texture offset. So if we click on the camera, we can attach random texture offset to it by using the component menu here. Now, as I said, you can actually change the name of what this thing does. So if you wanted to, you could call this like um, change texture offset randomly or something. And if you do this and save, uh, it will reset the component menu again and it'll change what this says here. Now the problem with this is if you don't use the same words, so like we we uh, did use randomly, so this one will still search pretty pretty similarly. Um, as a matter of fact, if we, if we go into add component and we search for change, you'll see change texture offset randomly shows up. If we were to change it to have none of the words from the previous thing, we wouldn't be able to search for it anymore. So you can't use this as a way to like add more keywords, unfortunately, for searching. Um, it would be nice if you could actually kind of wrangle it for that, but you can't. Um, so, so let's see. Let's get organized here. Um, I think you can do sub sub menus too. So, like, if we wanted to keep all of our stuff still in the scripts menu, you can do scripts slash texture effects, and I think this will bring us into the scripts menu with component. Once it refreshes here, there we go. Scripts texture effects change texture offset randomly. So, if you want to keep that organization of your scripts being a completely separate thing. Uh, you can totally do that. Um, anytime you add a menu, uh, the menu comes towards the bottom of the screen. So like these two menus here, the character and camera control, these were actually added by the character motors and FPS input controllers. Like if we go into our standard assets here, character controllers, first person controller, no, sources, here we go. So like if we do scripts, FPS input controller, you'll see that it's not in here. Character motor. I swear that... So it's going to look a little different because this is JavaScript here. Let's look at mouse look. Maybe this one will have it. There we go. Add component menu. See, camera control mouse look is right there. So um, so this is where camera control mouse look came from. So um, let's uh, let's organize some of our scripts. Let's, let's just uh, play around with it and we'll just add this to some of the things that we have in here. So I like texture effects. Let's... Um, yeah, let's just call this, uh, let's just make the menus for this. So, is there any place that this would be more appropriate? No, definitely not. Um, so yeah, we'll call this texture effects and put it under random texture offset. And I'm going to go ahead and space it out. I forget if it automatically did that. Did it? Actually, let's find out real quick. Because if you just create the script, like if we, if we comment this out, let's do this real quick. And we go into components, scripts, we wait for a moment, components, scripts, um, 
random texture office, you see it has spaces here. If we don't have the spaces when we do it ourselves, does it put the spaces in? I don't think it does, but let's find out. I know that it worked when it takes a little bit longer to load that menu. So, uh, texture effects, random texture office. So, if you want the spaces, you have to add them yourself. So, let's just do that to be maintain consistency with the rest of the menu items. Save. Um, let's uh, let's grab a few more of our scripts. Uh, grid spotter shell. Um, um, let's call this, uh, let's put this in a menu called spawn. Let's paste, uh, add component menu here. So, uh, spawn, and we called this grid spawner shell. Uh, we can maintain that or we could rename it here. Like we could call this spawn, um, grid shell or something, but uh, let's just call it uh, grid spawner shell. So in case people are looking for, for it in a specific way. Actually, let's try Let's try this. Let's try calling it just uh, uh, grid shell. If we now go into our new spawn menu, I don't know why this showed up above camera control. It might be based on the order of um, the order that the scripts actually get loaded in. So if we want to organize that, we'd have to get a little bit fancy. So if we do get grid shell, so if I now look at an object, I just want to see what we have for searching here. So if we do spawn, um, so grid spawner shows up here, but as you can see, okay, so we can't rely on the menus here in the, um, so if we search for spawn, we're not going to find it anymore. Whereas if we kept the original name, grid spawner shell, and then we do, we wait for it to refresh, spawn, grid spawner shell, okay, good. We go to add component, search for spawn, all of a sudden grid spawner shell shows up. So, um, so you can't actually search based on the hierarchy, which is unfortunate. Um, so even if it ends up looking a little bit um, redundant, this information is useful generally for organizations. So let's let's keep that. So let's do that. Let's uh, do the same thing with the grid spawner. So that's in somewhere here, grid spawner. Here we go. So let's do grid spawner. Just go here. Spawn grid spawner. Save, and then um, let's uh, let's do some move forward. Let's put this under. Is there a transform menu? Probably not. Let's put this under um, movement. Movement. Move forward. Save, and spawn on button, this can go into our spawn menu again, spawn on button, um, and we can just keep doing this until we have a bunch of different menus that have appropriate, appropriate things in them. So this is one way you can get uh, organized with your scripts. Um, so another thing that I want to show today is um, organizing a script itself. So what's one of our more complex scripts? Um, do we have any really complex ones here? Probably not. Create cubes from texture. This might be one of our fancier ones. Still not a whole lot in there. Just a render, a texture 2D, and an alpha threshold. Um, I don't have anything here that's really justifiable, do we? Well, if we did have... Let's see. Um, well, let's just pick one that's slightly complex. Um... 
we don't have anything that justifies this at all, but I'm just going to show it to you anyway. Grid spotter, this is actually a good one. This is probably going to be our best, best bet here. Actually, let's do grid spotter shell. So, um, so we can actually organize our menu a little bit. So if we go into, if we add grid spawner shell, add component grid spawner shell, um, we've got all these different things to organize here. Um, and so we could actually change this up so that there's actually headers and sections and stuff. So we could do, um, uh, if you wanted to, we could do uh, header um, uh, and then give it a name. So the name would be um, objects objects to spawn let's call it game object variables and let's call them required required game object variables and then um, let's call these um, header um, Let's call it just tweak values. So if we hit save on this, you'll see now, once this thing refreshes, we now have a section called required game object variables and tweak values here. And um, let's say that we wanted to, I don't see why we would, but let's make the object spacing a little bit further away from the num objects X, Y, Z. So we could, uh, if we wanted to, we could add a space here. We just do space. I believe this is an integer. Oh, it's float, I, but I, don't know actually what it's in. Uh, I think it's in pixels though. So if we do like, let's try one. Let's just see if how much this shows up. Yeah, it's in pixels. So it's floating point though. So you can actually have sub pixels if you want. I don't really know what, how it would render them, but um, so if we do ten there, it'll give us a little ten pixel space between number of objects and object spacing. Um, you could also do this um, if you don't like the fact that there's a space here and not a little bit of a space underneath these. You can you can manually just add a little space. You can just be like you know space five here, and the same thing under header values. And if we save that out, these will have little spaces between. There we go. I actually don't like that, but you know you could do that. So so that's how you can organize within a script. Actually, I want to keep that space on that one. Save. Um, what else did we have here? I wrote some stuff down. Um, you had tool tips to your things. So if you um, if you wanted to, uh, you could do like tool tip um, number of objects um, in the X direction. This would be a lot of similar tool tips. Sometimes the tooltips don't come up very reliably, so I'm not sure how much this is actually useful. And this is not telling the user much, very much useful information. This is just being used as an example. So if we um, now mouse over num objects X, it says number of objects in the X direction, number of objects in the Y direction. We didn't do anything for object spacing, so we don't get a uh, any tooltips on that. Shell object doesn't have any any tooltips. Um, um, so if we wanted to completely tooltip this out, we could do um, uh, object to spawn on outside of grid and object to spawn on inside of grid and actually let's do spawn outside of grid and so now if we mouse over these we'll get our little tooltips um, the other stuff I had here is actually for another another program um, because it's kind of cool stuff, but uh, this is not the time for it. So, so I'm going to call that a wrap. Um, not terribly exciting. We didn't do anything like special special on here, but um, but I don't think a lot of people know about these little little tricks and these little uh, attributes, and they can sometimes make things really nice. Uh, again, this is kind of a hackneyed example because there's not a lot of options here, but I've had. Uh, 
if you have a monolithic script in your in your project because you have like most of your game logic in one place, this will save your butt for organizing things and making things more accessible to people to use that aren't you. Um, which is important if you're working in a group, right? So, um, anyway, I hope this stuff helped you out, and uh, you guys have a great morning. I'll catch you tomorrow with another Breakfast with Unity at 8 a.m. PST. If you have any questions, please email me, pushypixels at pushypixels.com. You can also tweet me at Drakfire, that's D-R-A-K-F-Y-R-E. And, um, and yeah, uh, donate to the show if you can. Uh, we have a Patreon page, Cooking with Unity. Um, search for it on Patreon or uh, find our link in the Big Burger on the main, on the main Pushy Pixels page. Uh, have a great one, and I'll see you tomorrow.